Human beings like to make connections, whether at business meetings, conferences, video calls, basket weaving workshops, anywhere folks gather to share ideas. But just because people are in the same room doesn't mean they're always on the same page. Now that meeting didn't plan itself you spent a lot of time and energy putting it all together. Yet, would you be surprised to find out that even after all that work, not everybody who attended could fully participate? So I have cochlear implants, meaning my hearing isn't really natural. I hear with microphones and my own personalized programming. When I'm listening to people, it's like having to translate another language. With hearing aids, there's limitations as to uh, what, what I can pick up. I can hear sounds, obviously, but I can't always understand. For them, it's very easy to accept. Guy with the glasses, it's normal. Hearing it, they just can't. If I don't have certain accommodations, I can get a little nervous and be frustrated at some times. Uh, at work, I had a meeting recently. My boss wasn't even facing me. He was facing everybody else. He didn't have a microphone or anything. It just feels kind of pointless. But what if there was something you could do to change their experience? a way to increase participation, all while improving the overall exchange for everybody? Would you like to know what it is? Well, speak up. Like the mic. Yes, mics. Or if you speak in more than 140 characters at a time, microphones are not limited to just pop stars and politicians. Today, regular, real people use mics in everyday life all the time. In fact, I'm even using a mic right now. Oh, I don't need a microphone. I have a loud voice already. That might work for you, but what about the 48 million of your fellow Americans living with hearing loss? That's 15% of the population. For those of us who rely on hearing aids, hearing loops, and other assistive listening technologies, mics, from handheld mics to headset mics to conference mics and more, aren't just nice. They're a necessity to being part of the conversation. As someone who organizes or facilitates meetings, conferences, and other events, you set the tone. Make sure it's an inclusive one by laying out these guidelines at the very beginning. It's best to have at least two microphones to better facilitate audience participation. Shh. It's difficult to hear when multiple conversations are happening at once. Encourage speakers to wait until they have a mic so that their entire statement is heard. Make sure that folks keep the mic pointed directly at their mouth, not the ceiling, and that they keep it about an inch away so that they don't have to yell. Don't be shy, don't pretend that you're conducting an orchestra, and don't mistake the mic for a gavel. It will be easier for the audience to follow along if the speakers face to them and look forward when you talk to them. When we make sure that everyone uses a mic every time, we all have an easier time hearing, understanding, processing, and remembering what is said. If someone hesitates, remind them that it's important to have a conversation that everyone can participate in. The answer is clear. To help folks hear, everybody, like the mic. Learn more at rootedinrights.org slash like the mic. Produced by Rooted in Rights in partnership with the Hearing Loss Association of America.